Okay, uh, good morning, welcome to. Fair Math 1134. Fair Math 1134. So we encountered, uh, kind of by accident actually, um, uh, a couple of series this week that we have seen before, um, but actually probably not in a while. So they, I don't know that all this stuff is completely fresh in your mind, but um, the first thing we're going to do uh, in this project of looking at some of these series is look at this one. Uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus uh, dot 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 plus n up to some positive integer n. Okay. Do you remember what this sum equals? Uh, I believe it is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay. And how could we check at least if that's a appropriate formula? Mm -hmm. Let's start here. We look at just 1. Okay. 1 equals 1 times 2 divided by 2, so 1. Just check it for some, maybe just one other value, 2. 1 plus 2, that should be 3. So we have 2 plus 3 divided by 2, which is 3. Okay. All right, good. So it seems like it, it works, and we could even we can check it up, up to 4, because that's 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Mm -hmm. So we get 4 times 5, 20 divided by 2. 10. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Um, so we seem to think that this formula is true. Um, do you have... Uh, any sense of how we might prove that this formula is true for a general n? Um, well, we could use sort of a geometrical proof that I think I've seen before. So, what you do is for your uh, however many, however large your n is, you create these, you represent each number as this block, one of these blocks, so you have 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, and you duplicate that. And uh, duplicate it with a different color? Oh, okay. Actually, not. Yeah, no. yes. okay. yeah, one close by. So you've got these, and then what you do is you sort of connect them. So you're going to flip this one sort of upside down and then connect it over here. Like that. And then you get a rectangle, uh, which we know how to find the area for. And that area is, you have your N here and then n plus 1. And that's the area of your rectangle, and since you created two of these shapes, you have to divide by 2 at the end. Okay. Uh, that is a great explanation. Um, all right, very good. Uh, we are going to move on to looking at a more complicated series.